Yes. <laughs> the Form W-9 definition of a U.S. person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For federal tax purposes, you are considered a U.S. person if you are yes. an individual who is a U.S. citizen or U.S. resident alien. Yeah. Partnership, corporation, company, or association created or organized in the United States mm -hmm. under the laws of the United States and then state, oh, other than a foreign state, a domestic trust as defined in regulation section 301.7701-7. Yes. Now, there are some special rules for partnerships. <laughs> Conduct a trade or business in the United States generally required to pay a withholding tax under section 1446. Yes. Now, these uh, individuals known as persons, yes, mm -hmm. exactly how do you define a homeless person? Yes. Is there homeless partnerships, corporations, companies, or associations? No. <laughs> Are there any homeless estates that you have to take in consideration the actual financial condition of an estate? <laughs> how about domestic trust? <laughs> See, every time I inform law enforcement, their excuse for not really enforcing the laws as he's a homeless man and he has no money. Yes. But the very idea that the definition of a U.S. person for federal tax purposes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, is you are considered a U.S. person if you are an individual who is a U.S. citizen. Mm -hmm. Now, for the various corporation, partnerships, companies, or associations that for tax purposes are considered persons, yes, as well as each and every estate of the United States that is considered a person for United States tax purposes. 